remember this song? Friends, we learned, we um, listened to this song way back in the beginning of the year when we um, read the dot book. And today for writing, we are going to learn how we can write a scribble story. And scribble stories are very similar to the dot book. And that's why I played that song for you this morning. So today we are going to write a scribble story. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of this game, but this game is a big hit in my household. It is called Rapidoodle. And in this game, it really reminds me of our scribble stories because what you do is you get some doodles, doodle scribbles. Um, they're all the same, squiggles, you could call them. And um, everybody gets the same scribbles. So let's say you had these little shapes right here like they look like hearts so you would be given a timer and you would doodle on it and you would see what you can make that scribble into so see mrs rankin made just that one little heart i made it into a butterfly let's see what i can make this guy into i'm gonna make this little guy into just a silly little man maybe i'll make it into a chicken Sure, I'll make that into a chicken. Ooh, what can I make this into? Let's see here. I like the jig jaggies. Maybe I'll make him into a monster. Arr, he with some fangs. Yeah, and then what can I make this shape into? This scribble. Well, maybe I'll just keep it as it is and I'll make it into a rocket ship. Put like a little window in the rocket ship. Okay, so this is called Rapidoodle. You could do this though with any of your scribbles. Let me erase my annotations for you. So what is a scribble? You need to know that to be able to do a scribble story, of course. A scribble is to write or draw something quickly without much thought. So I can give you some examples. And Mrs. Rankin does this sometimes. Uh, maybe if I'm on the phone talking to somebody, I'll get a piece of paper and a pen and I'll just start doodling or scribbling. So maybe you just make some designs without much thought. Um, you could make shapes or even just maybe some lines. Just, just some doodles. If there's not much thought in it. You're just taking your your crayon or your pencil and just making some shapes. And that is what a scribble is. And I know in first grade, we talk about quality work. And if you were scribbling just for your picture for your story, that wouldn't be quality work, but today's different. You're gonna start with your story with a scribble. So it's kind of a special day today. How to make a scribble story. Well, first you make a scribble or a doodle. Then you're gonna make your scribble into a picture. And then last, you're gonna tell a story about your picture that you created. And I'm gonna show you how to do all those steps. Here's an example. Now this is called a squiggle story. Like I said, you could call a scribble, a squiggle or a doodle. And um, this is the initial squiggle that the boys and girls were given. And this student made the squiggle into a um, pegasus, like a unicorn. It says, it is a pegasus horn. Wow, a pegasus really is in the sky. I see it too. And that is their story was all about this pegasus that they made their squiggle into. And then this friend made their squiggle the same one as the other friend made into a pegasus. This one says, hey, I see a kangaroo in my backyard. It's a mama. Oh, and I see a baby too. Look, they put a baby kangaroo in the, in the mommy kangaroo's pouch. So that shows you how you can take one little squiggle line and make it into two totally different stories. Now, when you make your squiggle or scribble story picture, and then we make our story, you wanna make sure you're including all of those elements that we've talked about in our shared reading. And here are um, some examples of the things that you need to include. You need to include and tell us where your stories 
um, happening, the setting, who's in your story, what characters are in your story, and what happens first, next, and last. Give, give us a beginning, middle, and ending to your story, okay? You also want to tell me what the problem is happening in the story and what the solution is. And here are just some bonus things you could work on today. There's two apps that you can actually take your doodles or scribbles and make them into a story. Um, if you wanted to use apps instead of the paper, you could use this thing called Scribble Press, where you create a story, or Doodle Buddy. So you could look into both of those apps on your iPad. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a scribble story on the resource paper that's in your writing packet that your teacher gave you. So you're going to start with your paper. And I'm going to put my document camera on so you can see I already made three little scribbles. So it would be fun. You could even have a grown up or maybe a brother or sister aunt or uncle. You could say, hey, can you put some scribbles on my paper and then I'm going to make it into a picture. They might think that's very interesting. So here are my scribbles. I didn't really think much about my scribbles. I just put them on my paper and now I'm gonna make it into a picture. So I like this scribble. It reminds me of the ocean waves. I'm gonna make this into a big wave right here. And I'm gonna color this, you know, the color of the ocean blue. And then let's see, and now Mrs. Rankin's just gonna do this quickly. You're gonna take your time and do quality work when you're doing your picture today. Okay, so I'm gonna make this all into the ocean right here. Now, this squiggle reminds me of a mermaid. I can make this into her body and make that into her tail. So I'm gonna make that into a mermaid. And it actually looks like she could be swimming in the water. So I'm gonna draw the water around her like she's swimming. And I'm going to give her some pretty hair, maybe real long hair. Give her some long hair. And then I'm going to make this into her face and her body. Give her a little bathing suit top. And then I'll get her some eyes nose and a smiley face. That would be my mermaid. And now what am I going to do with this squiggle? Hmm. I don't know. Let's make it into a chocolate cupcake because why wouldn't you put a chocolate cupcake in a picture with a mermaid? <laughs> okay. So now I'm ready to write my story. You know what? I'm going to add a sun. A sun. I'm going to make this really confusing. I'm going to make a sun and then I'm going to make ooh, a cloud with some rain. And then there's a cupcake in the sky. So we know there's some kind of weather issue going on in Mrs. Rankin's picture here. Now we're going to start our story looking at our picture. So I'm going to just say um, one sunny and stormy. So when is it ever sunny and stormy, friends? Oh, that doesn't happen very often. One sunny and stormy day, a mermaid was swimming when all of a sudden a cupcake flew out from the sky. Oops. I'm going to put an exclamation point there. One sunny and stormy day, a mermaid was swimming when all of a sudden a cupcake flew out from the sky. So I just gave you an introduction to my scribble story. Now you would include a middle and an ending. Okay, and um, so maybe I could say um, the mermaid had never seen a cupcake. She didn't know what to do with it. She was really confused, but it smelled really good. 
So she went off and she found her narwhal friend and she asked him, what is this thing? Well, the narwhal just so happened to be a professional baker and knew right away that it was a chocolate cupcake. And you could keep going on and on and on with your story, telling me the characters, the setting, what happened first, next, and last, and make sure you add in there some kind of problem and solution to your story. So that is a scribble story. Have fun putting your scribbles down and making them into a picture and then creating a wonderful story out of them. Happy writing.